But this year, the opposite seems to be true. And Debbie Ely is here to explain why the good news. Don, the reason is really simple economics. The present plentiful supplies have resulted in lower prices. Prices at Twin City service stations have dropped at least a penny over the last month. Nationwide, prices are about 11.5% lower than in May 1981. It's basically due to uh, decline in consumption. Consumption is down 20% uh, from what it was in 1978. The lower consumption comes at a time when oil refineries are loaded with gas. Gas is a byproduct of home heating oil, and they processed a lot of home heating oil last winter because the temperatures were so cold. In fact, some oil analysts say that even if the oil supply from the Persian Gulf is cut off due to war, we'd still have enough supply for five or six months. But while low prices and ample supplies give motorists cause to smile, service station operators are wearing long faces. Their margin is at an all-time low right now. When you compare 1972 to today, uh, 1972, a service station dealer was making a 25% gross profit on gasoline. Today, they're making a 5% gross profit on gasoline. So. Brian Edisfold says most dealers must supplement their gas sales with convenience shops or repair service. Well, what if this, if this goes on, then does that mean the prices are going to continue to drop throughout the summer? Prices are expected to remain stable, Don. They may drop a cent or two from the present uh, $1.15 for regular self-serve and $1.21 for regular, or, excuse me, unleaded self-serve. Kind of makes you feel bad, though, for the service station operators. Uh, they have a tough road to home. You know, we, get, uh, we get cheaper gas at their expense, it seems. Thank you very much, Deb. Got yeah. a high cost for jet fuel. Captain Dale and the chopper to tell us about our first traffic check of the day, the end of the holiday weekend.